Um, your first question tonight comes from Steve Gelbs. Um, prior to tonight, um, you had made the decision to stand for the national anthem. Why did you decide tonight was the night you, you wanted to take a knee? Um, yeah, I mean, just with, with everything that's going on in the world, uh, you know, I, I just decided uh, to to just take a little notice and, and, and for the world to take a step back and, and really just you know, see what's going on. And, and so that's why I chose tonight. Um, and I feel like tonight was the perfect night, especially with uh, other teams canceling their games and, um, you know, especially looking at the NBA. Um, you know, they cancel all their games today. So I, I just wanted to make a stand like that and, and just to show my support. What did you make of the decision, um, or the decisions, I should say, uh, in the NBA and, and then – you know, the three games around Major League Baseball as well to postpone those games? Um, I mean, things happen fast. And, um, I mean, a lot of this stuff was going on while we were at the field. Um, so we're trying to prep, get ready for a game. Um, and, you know, a lot of times we're not on our phone. We're not checking in. And um, so, you know, to, to you know, kind of see those things happen, you know, very fast. And um, it kind of wasn't really a, a thought over here. So uh, that's why I decided to, you know, take a knee tonight. Um, you've been outspoken, Dom, in the past with everything that, that's going on to see the recent events and, and um, you know, everything continuing this way. What have your thoughts been and your emotions been over the last few days? Um, I've been very emotional. Um, yeah, just to kind of see this, you know, continuously happen. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it was a long day for me, so <laughs> I kind of wasn't there mentally, but we'll be all right. Next question comes from Tony DeComo. Hey, Dom, I, I guess just what was, you know, what has been the most difficult part about whether it's today or just even the past two months, what has been most difficult for you? Um. I mean, I think the most difficult part is to see like people still don't care. And for for this it just continuously happened. I mean, it just shows um just the hate in people's heart. And I mean I mean that that just sucks, you know? And being a black man in America, it's, it's not easy. So, I mean, like I said, you know, I, I just, I wasn't there today, but I'll, I'll bounce back. I'll be fine. Thank you. Next question comes from Justin Toscano. Hey, Dom, as it comes to racism, how can you guys as athletes use your platform to normalize that as a conversation, you know, in sports every day? Um, I think we're doing a good job at, uh, you know, trying to push that message, you know, this year, especially this year. I mean, um, a lot of people are more open to hearing about it. A lot of people are more open to learning about it. And that's all you can ask for. And um, I think, you know, as an athlete, we're being a lot more vocal than normal. And, um, you know, just to see what the NBA did, and like I said, three other baseball teams did, that's very powerful. And, I mean, that's stuff that, you know, this morning I didn't think would even happen. And just to see it happen, you know, it, it just brings the emotions out of me. So um, we're, we're, in, we're headed in a good direction, but, you know, to just see the constant stuff that reoccurs, I mean, it just, it just, it, it, it's just terrible, you know. My heart goes out to their to their family, and and I, I mean, I just don't want to see it happen to my kids. 
And that's the thing that I fear, so. Thank you. Next question comes from Bradford Davis. Hey, Dom, um, just to preface, I'm, I'm sorry to even have to discuss and probe this issue, as you can imagine, because I definitely feel it. Um, but um, I am curious, you know, uh, how do you, how would you as a, as a, as an athlete and, you know, a very consciously black athlete want um, play, uh, athletes who are not black coaches or whoever to support, you know, this cause, like what, 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 what do you want to see, you know, in the round of major league baseball? I mean, it's a lot of, you know, things we can do in the inner city to just bring, you know, happiness to children. You know, it's a lot of kids in poverty, you know, we can, I mean, I have a foundation, you know, Baseball Generation Foundation where, I mean, we're in inner cities working with these kids. And I mean, for me on the baseball side, we could do tons of things that way. Um, I like to set up Toys for Tots drives during the off season, especially for the Christmas time, do stuff for, you know, Thanksgiving, give back to like the homeless. I like to just give my time because that's the thing, like money, money is just material things. And, you know, I didn't grow up with money, so that doesn't mean nothing to me. If you could give her time, I mean, that's the thing that matters. So that's why I feel so emotional about it because, you know, people get their money and they leave. Can't do that. You, you got to be there for the children that's coming up after us. So, you know, I think that's the biggest thing. And if you give her time, that's the only way we can change. Next question comes from Zach Brassler. Dom, were you at all disappointed that it wasn't something discussed about maybe boycotting a game? Um, I don't want to say, um, I mean, no, not really. Um, I, lo I love baseball. So, I mean, I love getting out there playing, you know, that's my safe haven. And that's where like, I just get my mind off all the stress that goes on in my life. So, you know, I kind of didn't think too much into it, but I mean, that's something that uh, I did think about afterwards. But in the moment, getting ready for the game, that's all I wanted to do was get ready to play a baseball game that I love. So um, I didn't think too much into it. What about for tomorrow or moving forward? Do you think that could be something that happens with your team or will be discussed? Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm sure we're going to discuss it um, and, and we'll see. I mean, you know, like I said, we all have a job to do and – like I'm here, I love baseball. We're we're here. So um if there's a game tomorrow, um I'm sure I'll be here. So we'll see how it goes. Last question comes from Tim Britton. Hey, hey Dom. Either before or after the anthem, did you have a chance to talk about that with any of your teammates? And what might it mean to you if, if any of them decided to join you in kneeling moving forward? Um, it's it's I mean, it's not for them, so I don't care, you know, so that shit doesn't matter. I mean, it's not for them. Thanks. Dom, thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you, guys.